Hello everybody. Welcome back to Same Spirit Gaming. My name is Matt. And I'm Jordan. And okay, I am back with more Earthlock. Hoping I can actually defeat the pirate boss dude this time. I know you can. Um So the <laughs> <laughs> so if you fail the battle, this character can po possibly give you some advice. <laughs> that didn't That's happen in, on the first attempt. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I mean, I guess I'll take his his advice just to see what he says. Only I use counter stance and keep taunting. Okay, okay. not something I would have thought of. <clears throat> Everyone else keep Olya on her feet. So, how does that guy know you guys? <laughs> I I think that's more so an omniscient, you know, <laughs> game dev sort of thing that they put in there. But, um, also, in between the recordings, I got the characters up another level and awesome. uh, figured out some stuff with abilities that I should probably show, but I don't know if I can at this point. <laughs> okay. Because nice. I'm already in this scene with the dialogue and whatnot. Anyway, uh, what's that? Uh, Omri Spring. Do do do. It's the, it's the Frogmire Tree. Surely the reason why Varluk is here. Varluk, Varluk, I don't know if, with the dots above it, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be more a uh or ooh, but. <laughs> I don't know either. But that's him. <laughs> Not sure what he means by expecting her earlier, but oh well. <laughs> and of course she wants him to leave. The big cutlass. <laughs> Uh, do. Well, I don't know if I. My said swamp. This. Sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Had me thinking Shrek for a second with him saying, My <laughs> swamp. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if I've said this on the show before, but my favorite game of all time is Chrono Trigger. And have you, have you played that game? I have not played it. I've definitely okay. uh, heard about it seen some things related to it i would highly recommend the game maybe we'll play it at some point but anyway the reason one of the reasons i really like it is you fight this evil mage boss guy like a quarter of the way through the game and like way later on you can have him join your party and it's like the coolest thing mm. ever so i don't know why i thought of that but this guy I assume probably that won't happen. <laughs> so, I am definitely going to be using this throw sand ability that I gained. Oh, wow. Because, um, yeah, assuming it hits, his accuracy is going to go way down. Oh, he's immune. Great. <laughs> Gotta love when that kind of stuff happens. <laughs> um, Should have known. The boss. Okay, so... I'm not quite sure what to do with Nart at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I might just do that kind of thing. Okay, so the advice was to have Olia change stance. I might yeah, do that after I get rid of the, like, shaman thing. Okay. Uh, I don't think slashing or stabbing really makes much difference against this enemy, but... Okay, um... Then I think I'll take a stab, literally, at this dude. Um, <laughs> let's heal Olia some. Now, this is where the hard part starts. <laughs> yeah, um... So, I might... I might actually also have uh, Ammon 
change stance here because I seem to remember the blaster being more effective. Yeah. Which is very strange. Okay, now I'm going to have Olia change stance as well. Okay, uh, I guess regen on Ammon. Uh, mark target. Applies ranged defense down. So that just means he, and only he, probably, would be able to deal more damage. Yeah, unless someone else has a ranged attack, but... Well, it says... So. It says against attacks using ammo. Oh. Pretty sure none of the others use ammo. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and use a fire blast. See if we can get some burning on him. Yeah. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, ouch. Ah, uh, but she does get a oh, counterattack in there. That did a lot. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so. I'm going to have her use her? taunt. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't attack everyone else. Yeah. Get all the attention focused on her. Uh, Nart? I will have him use an item. Because I think he might also regain, you know, another, like, ability point thing. Oh, that is so good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if I had known this strategy earlier, I might not have needed the extra leveling up. <laughs> And you just take the frog guy with you so he can give you advice on every boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe, but it'll only be after I fail once first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Ah, uh, he missed. Oh, well. Literally all she has in this stance is taunt, so... <laughs> guess what I'm gonna keep doing? <laughs> Seems to be working. Yeah. Nice. Jeez, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> and I gained all that experience, too. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so we have freed Frog Boy. Do you do? Well, Leo's just saying she's glad they're safe. So, they didn't say it outright before, but now Nart is saying that this frog boy here is the custodian <laughs> that they were looking for. Okay. Uh, did anything happen to the tree? But it's been pulsing lately. Like it's having bad dreams. Doesn't sound good. Uh, da, da, da. Most of the frog people go. have moved deep into the swamps. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> the, the way he talks, <laughs> quackalicious. <laughs> uh, to do. Onarasi statue out in the hallway. Whack it with the hopper. What? <laughs> I do not know. Also, what what happens if I inspect the tree? Uh, pure oh, Omri in its pure. veins. Do. Okay, whatever. Not exactly important dialogue. Doesn't look like it's pulsing to me. So, yeah. Uh, now since you have the hopper, you can warp. So, fast travel stuff. Basically. Okay. That is very convenient. At least that's what it sounds like. Quack you on the other side. Oh, and it's just gonna automatically 
teleport me to where? <laughs> the other side. <laughs> oh, achievement. Yep. Get, get to bump it, island. Bump it island, yeah. <laughs> it looks almost like Ammon's town that he lived in, but not quite. Yeah. Uh, so this island, I guess, was supposed to be a secret of the frog people. <laughs> Uh, now they're just talking about like the lore behind it. Yeah. Do, do, do. That's so that's just what he calls it. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's actually called Gerswin or something in the history of this world. <laughs> uh, so there's a... There's a farmery? What? Mix of farm and armory, I assume. And there's a garden. A library. Okay. Anyway, nice. I feel like taking a bit of a look around here. Oh, I could plant some seeds around here. What kind of seeds do I even have? Currently, nice. only this kind. Froglet tree. I guess that's what it'll turn into. Huh. Cool. I always, or I usually like farming. Uh farming things in games. And Not... here's the main garden. Okay. Just who says it's just for you, Nart? <laughs> <laughs> uh do So why is this guy helping you guys? I kind of missed that. <laughs> well, I mean, he was captured by the pirate dude. Yeah, I guess we saved his skin. Uh... So some of the stuff you grow here can be used as ammo. Plant some seeds and harvest me some fruits. To get the fastest results, water the plants as they grow. Not too much, not too little. Jump over to the flower beds and plant the seeds. Okay, I don't know what he needs those for, but okay. But he's giving you seeds. Okay. Rock spud. Oh yeah, for your spud gun. New tutorial unlocked. All right, guess I'll plant the rock spud here. Oh. Oh, okay. So you just guess... get it right in the sweet spot. Yeah, but it's like I just held down A was all. So, <laughs> but if I press B, that'll uproot it. I don't want to uproot it. So how else do I get out of this here? I guess I just move away. Duh. <laughs> Not real obvious with the controls there. Yeah. I'll plant this one over here. <laughs> Water it like so. And there we go. Nice. Um, okay. 
Shall I plant the other muddy seed here as well? Yeah, why not? It doesn't give me anything about watering that. Cool, so it's automatic. It looks like it's growing fast. <laughs> yeah, maybe because of the uh, Omri in the soil, supposedly. Okay. So I guess the other one is going to take a while. Oh. Okay. Nice. And those ones I already harvested some things from. All right. I'm not seeing anything about that. I don't know if I'm supposed to uproot it or not. But it's, like, not really growing anymore. Jeez, these things, like, become harvestable, right? Rather quickly. <laughs> I'm sure you want to uproot? No. Whatever. Anything else for me, frog boy? Uh, what to do with these things that we've grown? Throw a stone over my shoulder and you'll find the farmery. Or potions and super ammo. <laughs> super duper ammo can be crafted. Nice. Uh, uh, so, I guess this will be where we use ingredients to craft different things. Yeah. From farming, thus the farmer. some potions yeah oh, that's he... useful well the game very much just kind of yada yada at all this stuff with these <laughs> plants being in here now and i did not mean yeah. to leave um i did mean to maybe pause for a little bit so we could uh, get to the verse <laughs> of the day though because uh yeah i just looked sounds at our good. recording time <laughs> <laughs> sounds good i have a passage from <clears throat> Matthew 13 um, let's see I I don't want to make it too long but I kind of it's I'll just read the whole parable because otherwise I'll be like partially reading it <laughs> so this is verse 24 to 30 so um Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven, <coughs> excuse me. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? I just realized this is totally related to your farming, <laughs> which was unintentional. Uh, an enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling up the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. So, yeah, and then uh, I won't read it verbatim, but later on, um, Jesus basically explains that parable to the disciples. And uh, so basically the wheat is all of the, um, the good people who hear the word of God and um, you know, basically the people who are going to be saved have a relationship with Jesus, follow his commandments, everything like that. And the weeds are the people of the evil one. So people who basically intentionally uh, 
screw with God's plan or try to and um, try to lead the good people away. Um, and uh, so he, he does explain all of that, but I think there's a, a small aspect that he didn't explain, like, you know, that wasn't addressed, I guess. That's a better way to put it. It wasn't really addressed. So in the parable, you know, it, it says, um, uh, let me just find the place here. When the servants ask the owner, do you want us to go and pull the weeds up? And the owner says, no, because while you are pulling up the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. And so this kind of, and I think every part of this parable is intentional. And so I think something to think about is the reason you don't pull up the weeds and just get rid of it, or as a human on the earth, the reason you don't just judge others and call them out and who you think is evil, you just, you know, try to make an example of them and all that kind of stuff is because you actually could pull, you might uproot the wheat with them. So the way I interpret that is um, the way that you deal with somebody you perceive to be evil uh, can push other people away from the truth or push people away from choosing basically <clears throat> Christianity. So, uh, yeah. And additionally, we don't know who is truly an, a quote unquote evil person or not. So while you're on your crusade against finding all the weeds, you might actually pull up wheat. So I don't know. It wasn't really explained that way in this passage, but it was just something I was thinking about as I was reading it. Yeah, no, I definitely think that's important to consider. I think we talked before about, you know, like not being, you know, not showing any sort of joy or pleasure at the the pain of your enemies or their shortcomings or anything like that cuz yeah. I mean, the Bible says to pray for your enemies. Yeah, exactly. Actually love your enemies and pray for those <laughs> who persecute you is the more exact wording. Yeah, yeah. Good point. But yeah, I mean, someone could be a horrible person for a bunch of time in their life and then find it in their heart to turn away from their sin and begin to follow Jesus. We just don't know what the future is. So, you know, we don't want to be somebody who pushes a potential Christian away from the truth. Um, yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, it's important to come with love. And um, I think uh, Maddie might, though, kind of made a really good point on the Arrow episode where he said, we're not, we didn't, we're not coming to cause, um, I don't remember how he put it exactly, but he's basically saying we're not coming to basically hit the hit people over the head with the Bible and make them feel bad and cause dissension. Um, we're here to love, and I think it's yeah, it's important to try to be an example of that, even if we're not always perfect. We can try to be. Yeah, there's a lot of good parables. Um, all over the place in the New Testament. And some that I will admit I don't fully understand. And <laughs> I think uh, people debate the meaning of to this day. Okay, sorry, we're missing a lot of uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, here. so, like, we also have a forge now to craft, like, weapon-related stuff. Okay. Um, and now apparently Frog Boy's got something for Olia. Nice. Ancient machine part. <laughs> Owl quest. Um, only found one part, and now the second. Uh, da -da. More 
to show at the top of the island. Ancient machine part, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, while I'm also in here looking at what even that machine part might be... Okay, is it in this? Oh yeah, ancient machine part. So there's two of them now. Part part from the ancient mysterious machine that Olia is meant to bring to the Owl Tide. Okay. Anywho, uh, while I'm here in the menus and stuff, um, this right here was something else that I uh, worked on in between recordings. Oh, yeah. Which allowed me to give people higher stats and added abilities and whatnot. Right. Um, did I... I thought I actually got a thing, or maybe I need a talent point to put anything else in here. But I thought I gained something that, like, had an ability or whatever. Yeah, because if but I anyway. remember, this was off screen, but once you make it to one of those, uh, like, golden or yellow ones... Or I think it's a different color per character, but once you make it to those, you get a different ability. Like these kinds? Yeah. Yeah. These unlock abilities for you. Um, and there are actually spots, I think it's these diamond ones, that you can add new abilities to that oh. weren't already there. That's cool. So there's even ways to give other characters different abilities, possibly even different than they would have already had. I know we've made the Final Fantasy comparisons to death, but that definitely reminds me of Final Fantasy X. With a the similar... sphere grid thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very similar. I, I, I really might need to get into some Final Fantasy games <laughs> before too long. That yeah. one's fun. I... Another thing that happened while you were talking about the Bible verse, these... Yeah. Uh, kind of leveled up at least the, oh. two, the two plants that we already planted over here see now that gives six and I think this one's also going to give six so yeah wow. the number of leaves indicated there near the bottom right is like the level of the plant Okay. and the higher it's level the more stuff that it gives you when you harvest it anyway so can you just like I mean are you supposed to just stand there collecting the stuff until... I don't, hey, know. I don't know if I'd say you're supposed to, but if you want to, okay. you basically can just wait around there a bunch. I see. But I'm not going to wait around for all that the whole episode. Yeah. Uh, do, do. This is the Gallery of the Custodians. A bit chilly, but... Whatever. I don't even know what he's trying to say there. <laughs> uh, hop on in and take a look around. You can craft talents and use them to update your talent boards. Oh, that's cool. Da -da -da. Uh, so he's thinking about staying here instead of in Frogmire, I think was where Olia said he was maybe supposed to be. Um, come on over to my tent after you've had to go at crafting talents. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> Just blank talent. Blank talent. Which I assume is needed for some of the crafting stuff. Anyway, geez. Um, new tutorial unlocked, but we're already right near the 30 minute mark for the episode. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we'll pick up with that in the next one. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed yeah. it. Hopefully we'll see you soon for another video. I uh, should just be, you know, uh, 
somewhere in the neighborhood of five days before the yeah. next episode of this would come out. Next one will be Moonlighter, probably. And yeah. Another Earth one. Actually, it'll either be four or five days because two to, two to three days will be the next uh, Moonlighter one, and then another two to three days after that will be... It all depends yeah. on if it falls on a weekend. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway, there's a little sneak peek at our schedule in case you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. And if you didn't know, that means you're probably not subscribed, so do that. Yeah. And to make it absolutely clear, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's when our new episodes come out. <laughs> right. <laughs> and anyway. clips come out Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. All right. Okay. Well, now that we've said all that there is to say about our schedule, <laughs> I guess it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.